بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اسٹوڈنٹس ان دس ویریا وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ دا ایپوپٹاسز اینڈ دا نیک کراسز وٹ از بیسیکلی دا ایپوپٹاسز اور نیک کراسز دیز بوتھ دا ٹائپس آف دا سیل ٹیپ وین دا سیل یوز ٹو ڈائی اٹ یوز ٹو فالو ون آف دا پروسیجر ویدر ایپوپٹاسز اور ویدر نیک کراسز دا ایپوپٹاسز از بیسیکلی دا program cell death or you can say that suicide the cell used to program for the death that's what is called suicide while the necrosis is the accidental death let's suppose if anything is going to bite you or any kind of the cut you are going to get in the skin so this is the accidental death of the cell so let's see what these both are apoptosis apoptosis is basically the program cell death program cell death when the cell used to want to destroy itself or when the cell is no more able to work or when the cell is going to get older they used to program their cell death now how they are going to program their cell death there are some major steps but with the help of these steps the cell used to destroy their cell without damaging the other cell so during apoptosis what is happening the cell first shrinks itself the cell used to shrink its size then the cell used to become round how the cell used to become round by the enzymes which are going to destroy the cytoskeleton that is present in the cell basically the cytoskeleton you know it very well used to help in maintenance the shape of the cell so when there is no cytoskeleton there is a no proper shape of the cell so the cell is going to become the round then the chromatin that is present inside the nucleus is going to condense itself the next step is that the nuclear envelope is going to disappear and this chromatin is going to divide into a small chromatin and going to spread in all over the cell after that the bulbs are going to form now what is the bulbs basically the bulb is the break off you can say that the start of sky you would say that the projection of the cell membrane the irregular projection or you can say that irregular birds are going to form by the cell membrane so the cell membrane is going to form the irregular birds and these are known as the bulbs then these irregular birds are going to get separate from the cell and now they are going to call the ap you can say apoph So now what it is going to call apoptotic bodies. So the irregular projection or the irregular birds, you can say the irregular birds are going to form by the cell membrane. These birds are going to get separate and when these birds are going to get separate from the cells and they are known as a apoptotic bodies and these apoptotic bodies are going to be eaten, eaten by other cells. you can see that phagocytosis they are going to phagocyte by other large cells so other large cells which used to destroy the small bodies they are going to eat these small bodies you can say that other cells are going to phagocyte so in apoptosis what we have learned that first the cell used to shrink its size and then the cell used to become the round so how it become the round because the enzyme used to eat the cytoskeleton then the chromatin used to condense itself and the nuclear membrane is going to disappear this condensed chromatin is going to split into discrete you can say that uh, discrete chromatin bodies and they are going to spread in all over the cell plasma you can say that in the cytoplasm now after that the bulbs are going to form in the bulbs the cell membrane is going to project itself in the form of the birds and these birds are going to get separate from each other and this is known as a apoptotic body after that these are going to be eaten by the cell or phagocyte by the other cell so the cell is now completely destroyed okay if you are going to see the reasons that what are the reason of the apoptotic apoptosis basically it is going to occur during the stress when a body is going to undergoes the stress or body is actually suffering from the stress condition like you can say that uh, or any kind of the stress or the hypertension or 
Aptosis can remove the damaged cell. One of the greatest advantages is that it used to remove the damaged cell. Any cell which is going to get damaged due to the, any kind of the accident or any kind of the stress. So this aptosis is going to remove the damaged cell and preventing it to get the further nutrients. And it also used to prevent the spread of the infection. Aptotic is also giving advantage during development. Now how it is going to give us the advantage during the development, basically what is happening. The, have you ever seen that the fingers of the baby is basically very closer to each other so how they are going to convert into a complete finger and they're going to get separate from each other basically this extra mass this you can say that extra flap is going to eaten by or aptosis you can say so it is basically uh, when the baby is in the warm of the mother the hand of the baby is a flap like, just like in a duck. Have you ever seen the fear of the duck? So the hand of the baby is just like in a duck. It means that do not have the proper uh, separation of the fingers. So these fingers are going to completely like you can say that it is going to split completely. So how it is basically these fingers are going to get separate when well, I'm not making the fine hand. How it is going to convert into a complete hand. So obviously that this extra flap is going to eat in or the, there's a program cell that so that's why they are going to form a complete separation of the fingers and this is basically happening by the apoptosis so that's why it is said that it is basically helping in during development and for example during the formation of the fingers the cells between the you can say uh, in between the fingers uh, or you can say in between the digits are going to get separated by the apoptosis. So if we are going to learn about the advantage of the apoptosis, then we are going to say that apoptosis used to occur during this when the cell is going to get damaged or when it is in the stress form. So ap apoptosis is going to damage, remove the damaged cells or it is also not letting the damaged cell to grow means obviously if the damaged cell is going to take the nutrition then the nutrition are not going to be accomplished for the other cells which they require so that's why the cell that is too much required obviously a one damaged cell is going to die then this nutrient is going to be uh, supplied to the healthy cells as well as um, it is also spreading to it is also preventing to spread the infection the next one is the necrosis so what is basically the necrosis the necrosis is the accidental death it is a sudden death it used to occur very abruptly so necrosis is less sequential like it is it means that it is not like the sequence which we have learned in the apoptosis it is a very less so it have very less sequence and as well as what is happening necrosis used to occur like let's suppose an injury used to a sudden cut on your skin to get any kind of the infection or cancer so in that case the necrosis used to occur as well as one of the greatest reason of the necrosis is the hypoxia what is basically the hypoxia hypoxia is the condition in which the body cells are getting the less oxygen from the environment so so now what is basically the necrosis let me tell you as i told you before the necrosis used to occur during the accident so the necrosis is basically not the program cell that so that's why it have very less sequence this means that if uh, a thing which is going to die accidentally so it is not only damaging itself but it is also damaging the other cells which are around the uh, damaged cells which is around the uh, suicidal death so uh, it is not the suicide the suicide is basically the apoptosis the suicide term is suits suits on apoptosis in that case it is an accidental death in the apoptosis that was a suicide it's mean that a cell knowing the cell know that i'm going to die so that's why it is going to plan its cell that but in necrosis it is too much abruptly so that's why it is also going to give the you can say it is also going to spoil or it is also harm the cells around that that cell around that specific cell so have you ever seen that when you are going to get the pan you are also getting the pan around the cell around that bone let's suppose if you get the cut on your skin you're also going to feel the pan around that 
cut okay the reason is that this cell is not only damaging itself but also used to damage the cells around that specific cell so in necrosis what is happening basically this in the cell you have learned about that there is a organelle that is known as a lysosome so you have learned about the lysosome that it used to help in the metabolism now what is happening during the necrosis the cell that this lysosome used to produce such types of the enzyme which is going to eat or which is going to destroy which is going to break all the material that is present inside the cell the lysosome is going to produce such kind of the enzyme which is going to destroy all the organelles nucleus you can say that vacuoles or uh, you can say mitochondria or uh, golgi operators those enzymes are going to destroy all the thing that is present inside the cell it means that they are going to destroy the whole cell but it is not only destroying the cell but after releasing after destroying the cell they are going to release outside of the cell these enzymes and then these enzymes are going to yes these enzymes are also going to harm the other cells that is present around this cell so once the cell is going to get damaged these enzymes are going to release out of the cell and they are going to destroy they are going to spoil the other cells that are surrounding these cells so this is basically the necrosis here is the example around there that the spider bites let's suppose if anything is biting on your skin so that is a necrosis let's suppose uh we'll wipes might you have seen bees when they are going to uh bite you this is basically you are going to feel the pain so this is a necrosis that was a sudden death of a cell but now what is basically the necrosis may be due to the lack of the proper care to the wound side if let's suppose once you get the wound on your skin and you're not taking good care of your wound you're not working on it properly that it is going to get healed as soon as possible then that will also be considered like necrosis will also occur at that area if you're not going to take care good care of the wound okay if we are going to discuss about the types of the cell that then one is the apoptosis and other one is a necrosis in the apoptosis it is basically a programmed one the cell used to pass through one two and three and there are steps so first step is the cell used to shrink and the chromatin used to get condensed the cell also used to become the round because due to the destruction of the cytoskeleton by the enzymes present in the cell the chromatin is going to kind of get condensed as well as the enzymes present you see the chromatin is going to uh, the nuclear envelope is going to disappear and whole chromatin is going to spread in the cell now the cell is going to produce the birds you can see here and these birds is basically known as a blabbing or burring now what will happen those blabbing or these birds are going to get separate from the cell and this is now known as the apoptotic bodies and now it is going to eaten by some other cells or you can say that a phagocyte by the other cells well in the case of the necrosis the cell used to swell and there's an enzymes present the lysosome you can see the lysosome organelle present in the cell which is going to produce the enzymes and these enzymes are going to eat the organelles that is present inside the cell and the cell is going to destroy as well as these uh, enzymes are going to get outside of the body outside of the cell and will destroy the other cells that are basically surrounding this cell so that's why it is called necrosis now one more thing in the necrosis keep in your mind let's suppose if any kind of the insect is going to cut you that is a necrosis but once insect have cut you and you are not taking care of your skin then it will also lead to the further necrosis so take very good care of yourself whenever you are going to get damaged by these all things or accidental accidents kind of the things or cut or the cut with a knife or anything so hope so you get the lecture inshallah we will see what we are going to learn next okay stay healthy allah fiz assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh for you
the different cells are actually used to die on a daily basis might be due to the apoptosis or might be due to the necrosis now basically what is the apoptosis as i told you before let me to show you example okay the first cell is going to shrink it is going to reduce its size then it is going to become the wrong due to the damaging of the cytoskeleton then the bulb formation and now the apoptotic bodies apoptotic bodies and now these bodies are going to be eaten by the other cells so this is the apoptosis well in necrosis the cell is going to breast and then just destroy it is going to swell and destroy by the presence of the lysosomes they are going to produce the enzymes and these enzymes are not only going to destroy the cell but also the other cells